Struggling for form, Valenciennes coach Daniel Sanchez made five changes to his side as they entertained Saint-Étienne. Lever in good form domestically and a debut for Mevlut Erding following his signing from Rennes. Saint-Étienne lining up in a 4-4-2 formation here. A change to the norm, we have usually played in a 4-3-3 under Christophe Galtier. The return of Fauzi Goulam to the Saint-Étienne side as well after a proposed move away from the club. Never uh, materialised, and it was his cross that was turned in by Benjamin Cornier to put Saint Etienne ahead early on. Cornier profiting from some uh, rather poor goalkeeping from Nicolas Penetto, and uh, Cornier with his first Ligue 1 goal for the club he joined in the summer from L'Oreal. That was the only goal of the first half. Christophe Galtier's side in front, looking to build on an impressive win at home to Bordeaux. In the last outing a couple of weeks ago, they strengthened their advantage in the second half, not long after the restart, this one, Valenciennes unable to get the ball out of their own half. It fell to Roman Hamouma, who let fly with an absolute beauty. Fine strike, that from Hamouma. Penito beaten again. Hamouma, who scored in the win against Bordeaux. From close range, this one from the best part of 25 yards. And on this occasion, nothing that Penito could do to keep that one out. Saint-Étienne's uh, start to the season marred by that uh, Europa League exit at the hands of Esbjerg of Denmark which saw them miss out on a place in the group stages of the competition but their league form has been pretty good indeed they were 3-0 up Benjamin Cornier with his second of the evening once again though Nicolas Penetto beat it all too easily and this new look Saint-Étienne formation working rather well with Cornier playing further forward 3-0 up against the Valenciennes side, struggling for form. Could have been worse for them as well. Saint-Étienne threatening to run riot. They nearly got a fourth goal there. Erding on his debut, the former Paris Saint-Germain and Rennes striker, the Turkish international, heading that one against the post. And then Valenciennes were uh, granted a consolation late on. This cross from the right-hand side coming off Mustafa Bayal Sal. The referee deciding it was a handball by the Saint-Étienne defender but the replay shows pretty clearly that it never touched his arm at all coming off by Al Sal's midriff Maur Melikson the Israeli international off the bench dispatching the penalty that Valenciennes first goal since their 3-0 win against Toulouse on the opening day of the season a fourth consecutive defeat for them Saint-Étienne though with 12 points for a possible 15 3-1 the final score